I know someone who clearly helped you through all this, through the whole book process was Teresa T, mm-hmm. who another big reveal in the book, you've been in a, a secret, I guess, relationship oh. with for almost 20 years. I guess, I congratulations. I mean, I have <laughs> to just say that first, welcome to the family. <laughs> but I guess, what were your conversations with her like in terms of you know, coming out as it were, I mean, I know there's no labels attached, but just in the book like this, it's still, it's still going to be considered some sort of coming out. I mean, I try to explain to people, it's the, I don't think I'm coming out, you know, I mean, um, but on the other hand, they sort of been, uh, I mean, I, I think I still consider myself straight, Mm -hmm. even though I was attracted to a woman, but now there's so many different things you can be gender fluid and you yep. know, <laughs> pansexual and, uh, just attracted to the person and yes just attracted but, to that person but I don't think I got 50 and suddenly went hey I'm gay oh yeah damn, why did I wait so long you know I just <laughs> met a person who was a really special person and who I fell in love with we were mm. great friends and we fell in love I don't know how it happened just did <laughs> and uh, she does not want she's shy and doesn't want to be in the public eye so Mm. when I told her that I was going to reveal this in the book I mean talk to her about it and tell her I said was it okay uh it was a double-edged sword for her on Mm. one hand it'd be nice to not have to act like she's just my assistant we work together on the other hand she doesn't want to be in the spotlight Mm. that was my bigger question was you know if she ever felt like this secret was something that was holding you guys back at some point, but if she likes the anonymity, then I guess it seems like it did work. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a hard one because I felt bad for her just like, Oh, this is my sister. You know, it's so, I don't know. It was degrading not to say that this is my partner. This is, you know, it's degrading to her and and it felt bad for me to do that. I was protecting my character. I didn't care Mm. me. I'd be happy to, tell anybody anything about me as you can plainly see <laughs> <in> my book <laughs> yes <laughs> I was protecting really protecting uh the character of Elvira and that's why it was hard to say uh, you know here Elvira is this big straight horn dog <laughs> going after guys all the time and you suddenly <laughs> say oh the person playing her is really with the woman um it seems hypocritical and weird and I was trying to save my career and my character you yeah. know and I don't know what to do. I just didn't want to, it's my means of making a living. And I didn't want to throw that down the, you know, toilet and start over. <laughs> I think <laughs> some of these straight horn dogs might be all right with her checking out some women here or there now too. <laughs> and I'm sure the, the many, many gay fans that you have, of which I am one, will also be thrilled to, you know, hear this from you as well. And and like you said, you even felt a little bit hypocritical about that because you were always surrounded by, you know, all your gay friends and, you know, the gay yeah. just cult and following that you have. Funny. All my closest <laughs> friends, I told. And they had a little yeah. hard time. They had, they weren't always like, oh, that's fabulous. They were more like, uh, <laughs> seriously? I mean, they knew that our connection was talking about men. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was your <laughs> comment <laughs> they're like you're you're in a relationship with a woman they they had a hard time wrapping their head around it mm. now they know they love it and they're you know thrilled but in the beginning it was weird yeah and I mean how was your daughter with it as well um she's totally fine with it because she's yeah. very you know just like, like a younger generation mm-hmm. oh they I don't think, care <laughs> you, tell, you tell people with this under 30 and they go oh and what have you been doing lately? Yeah, they just said, it's like, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, that is exactly how they react. They go, oh, cool.